Gas. It's all around us. It's in space. It's on Mars. It's dissolved in our blood. It's in the soda that we drink. And it's easy to forget that we're submerged in an ocean of gas. But it's there all the time. We may not see it, but it's always there. Try moving your hand like this. It's those tiny molecules and atoms bumping against your hand as you move them around. All gases generally show similar behavior when the conditions are normal, but with a slight change in physical conditions like the pressure, temperature, or volume, this show a difference. Gas laws are an analysis of these behavior of gases. The variables of state like the pressure, temperature, or volume of a gas depict its true nature. Hence, gas laws are relations between these variables. Let us try to examine some real-life situations that include gas laws. Avogadro's law states that, as the number of molecules inside a container increases, the volume also increases. In this case, our container is a balloon, and the molecules are the carbon dioxide we blow into it. If we continue to blow into a balloon, the number of molecules inside will increase, which means the balloon will also get bigger and bigger. Based on a picture, which balloon is the biggest? Yes, that is correct! The blue balloon is the biggest out of the three, which indicates it also has the highest number of molecules inside. Have you ever been to a hospital before? Have you seen those small medical devices that nurses use to inject or withdraw fluid from the body? Those are called a syringe, and how it works involves a gas law. Boyle's law is evident in working a syringe, and it states that for a fixed amount of an ideal gas kept at a fixed temperature, pressure, and volume are inversely proportional, which means when the volume decreases, the pressure increases. Boyle's law states that when the temperature is held constant, if the volume increases, the pressure decreases. In a syringe, the volume of a fixed amount of gas is increased by drawing the handle back, thus lessening the pressure. Fluids such as water flow from a high pressure to a low pressure area. This means that once the pressure inside the syringe is lower than the pressure outside the syringe, what do you think will happen? You guessed that right. Fluids near the needle will easily flow into the syringe. Gas is around us all the time. And by knowing the different gas laws, it provides a key understanding to the activities of real gases in the real world. Today, we found out about how Avogadro's law is involved in inflating a balloon and how Boyle's law is applied in working as a rich. We can now say that gas laws are useful not only in explaining procedures in the laboratory, but it is also useful in addressing situations that we encounter in our everyday life. 